Oh. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think we're good. Hey guys, so we came back from PAX. I was only there for about two days. Matt here was there for the whole conundrum and then some. Woo, five days. And uh, so far the best thing I have to say about the whole thing is this, this yo-yo here. Fuck your yo-yo. I only got this stupid shirt. I got this cool shirt. I, I, I can't know. see it. It's, he it's Predator, so, you know, we're like... Taking this off. Admittedly, these are actually really well-made masks. Probably the best masks I've ever seen made at PAX. It's hot! That's where the slits are. That was right above the goggles is where you can see the eyes. Mine signed. Oh yeah, he's got people signed by from uh, most of the Our people Lord and from... Savior, Randy Pitchford. Oh, the giant fucking asshole of the world. Hey, hey, hey. That asshole Every... is on my temple. Sam Winkler is hilarious, by the way. Just yeah. meet him. What's your standout things for PAX this year for games you gotta uh, play? This year they hand out a lot of gum. Gum? I did not see They it. look like Tide Pods. Oh, those! I didn't and, pick them up because uh, I thought they were Tide Pods. Well, kids were eating them and I thought that it was a, oh. uh, that was a fat again. So oh was, my. I have to be on top of that. Yeah. They're delicious, though. Oh, the little, those uh, square ones. Yeah. Uh, lots of gum, lots of Red Bull. In fact, I'm pretty sure Red Bull sponsored the entire thing. I'm convinced. So much Red Bull. Stuff, you know. <laughs> Got some stuff. Handing out curry, you know. I don't know where the fuck he got curry from. Shirts. This is all free stuff. I don't know where he got the shirt from either. Yeah, it's a good that? time. I like the Predator game. It's like a smaller version of Evolve. It might work, it might not. It's the same concept, 4v1v environment. Who's making it? Didn't do I'm much, trying uh, to remember. Didn't do much research, did you? Oh, I remember what they, they've they made something recently that actually is not too bad. I'll just like put the title in here. Like I'll just say what they've made before. Insert title here. Mm -hmm. One game that I really enjoyed, mainly because I'm a big XCOM fan, was this Phantom Brigade game. It's a, it's a strategy game that involves use of time in a cinematic sense. You have five seconds per turn. You see how the enemy's movements are projected and you have to try and counter to those. And at first I thought, you know, that's kind of easy because you can see forward in time, but there's still some little tricks to it. You can't see entirely how your character is going to react depending on the actions you choose. And I even lost a mech, but there's all these different things you can do. Like, you can use a shield to ram a tank into a wall. And what was Whoa. probably the best part about it is he said that once the mission's over, you see a replay of your... They're going to have it in. You're going to see a replay of your entire battle, and there'll be a director's mode. So you can make little movies out of that shit. Interesting. And that's, like, that impresses me. That, like, gets me really excited. Song. What was the game that you... I saw, obviously, Borderlands. I guess yeah! we talk about Borderlands. The Gearbox panel is great. They did a lot of not Borderlands is the gearbox and they had to push their publishing uh, side of things but they gave out a game for free called risk of rain 2 they uh, handed out these little cool things with the game code on the uh oh, that's like the side of the coin that's actually pretty cool yeah anyway i think the main thing i got out of the gearbox channel was our channel panel was uh, uh chad sucks and uh i hope chad knows that <laughs> And anyone who's been to that panel or watched the panel will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but they gave away, apparently, Brandy and all of his douchebagginess apparently gave away three diamond chest things. Yeah, three diamond loot chests for uh, participating in his magic trick, which is pretty fun. And then um, they, um, we, everyone's got a week to uh, sign up for the remaining like 980 or so for a chance to actually buy it. For like oh, wow. $180 USD. So it's like, <laughs> that's like a physical thing. Doesn't right. come with the game though. That's fucking Randy. But, no, it's Gearbox, not Randy. That's Randy is Gearbox, yeah, Randy's man! Like, I want to get all the keys from my suit. Randy is half of Gearbox! I really wanted him to sign my USB stick. Oh, he dropped <laughs> it. But he probably would have slapped it away or something. Well, that's like when I asked him about how what happened with aliens in the, ho in the hotel elevator and nothing. Another game that I enjoyed was uh, Due Process. This was... Uh, can't really see it, but I don't bring any cards. It's kind of like a, uh, it's like a Judge Dredd sort of art style, but using like PlayStation, uh, Sega Genesis, uh, advanced more so graphics, like Dreamcast graphics, but in a Rainbow Siege 
sort of scenario. I'm horrible at games like this, but I can see the appeal for it and I even enjoyed it. So I definitely would suggest uh, checking this one out too. This is something that's coming along. I even got a beta key actually for trying it. This game was there uh, last year. Well, you cool. see like the main guy in the photo kind of reminds me of like a mix of Judge Dredd and Batman. Doing all this video game stuff in the packs, so I'm just getting curry. I don't even it's know where somewhere. he got I have no idea where he got that from. Uh, uh, that. Whatever this. Take is. a look at it. I don't know. I saw Trails of Cold Steel, which I'm a fan. Oh, of. and this speak actually your shirt here. Uh, what's Black Desert? Did you have to get into that mysterious black van outside and they take you to it, or did you? No, I keep wishing people would take oh, me man. in a mysterious black van. But there was some uh, black van. Like, hey, you guys want to get in this van? Yeah, sure. Doesn't sound bad at all. Yeah, no, we were walking by because we got an Airbnb and uh, we saw that this game store was advertising Black Desert. I don't care for the game. But oh whatever. no, it's like they're so like, come on in, get free stuff. I was like, okay. So we get in the lineup, and my one, uh, my one uh, desire was to sit down and break the game because it was on console. So oh. I finally got to sat down, and my first thing I did was jump off a cliff into the water, and the frame rate died down so much that I couldn't play the game, and then it crashed, and by the time that they got the game working again and I could actually do something, all my friends were done, uh. so they just gave me the shit out of pity. A year of rain, got a little pin thing. I don't know anything about it because I didn't want to try the demo, <laughs> but I, this is for this is to remind me for later. And then there's a board game called Escation. Yeah, I don't know how to sell that either. Esk it Eskatan? looks it looks good. Eskin. And we got like little silly photos. This is me and my friend at the Black Sea thing. I said, what was this fighting game? Suck, I got photos. Grand Blue Fantasy versus. Oh, okay. It looks hilarious. Tempin, that is that like Capcom's version of uh, their own fighting game? Yeah, here's the, the thing. thing. It's like Tempin, sweet. And I couldn't find any gameplay. Finally, on our last day on Monday, we're walking around, and then we finally realize it's a card game. What? Yeah. It's a card game. What? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's uh, emulating. Oh, this is his. I don't know. There's a cat guy. It's like three cats who stand on top of each other. I'm really excited to play it, and we tried doing it, but it kept <laughs> grabbing my crotch. Black it's dessert. Black dessert. <clears throat> totally, totally gonna buy this game. <laughs> Oh, and then I guess one other game that I really enjoyed the aspect of was Blair Witch. That was up on the top floor. I like it because I like the Blair Witch aspects, and they're taking the one, one good thing that was in that recent remake, um, the idea that the whole area is a is a just a giant fuckery of time. Um, you're going after, you're trying to find this kid, and when you go to the, at one point in the demo, we went to this boathouse, and the only way you could get through certain doors and certain areas unlocked is by watching some recorded tapes, and at the point in the tape when someone's going through a door, that's when the door in the physical world opens. Oh, so, interesting. There's a lot of time fuckery, and immediately the ending scared the shit out of me. I'm not very good with, scare, with horror games, but I do enjoy the aspect of this. I can see it being a bit of a buggy mess, but We'll see. The game actually came out while we were there, so that's pretty cool. My friend stood in line for so long that he saw the entire game at that point and then just left. Oh, I watched it about two times too. <laughs> I uh, I did. I had a long conversation with the developer though, so that was really cool. They actually talked with the the uh, some of the people who worked on the first movie, and they had their input into the game and whatnot. And you know, it was sort of Microsoft in high sight because the only thing that fucking Microsoft had there was Mixer. Yeah, Mixer. It looks like someone like shat on Twitch with like Play-Doh that they ate, you know? It was so weirdly colored. Yeah. Now, I also have absolutely no knowledge on Mixer, but that's my impression. It might be great. If they paid me a mass amount of money, I'd go to Yeah, you know? Ninja. I didn't even know that this was a Microsoft-owned thing. <laughs> I don't think many people did. Facebook too. Facebook had an absolutely massive fucking VR booth. Like those, those demo rooms were huge. Well, they also hosted like a couple after parties. Yeah, apparently. One to one of them. Free yeah. alcohol. That apparently sounds pretty nice. Yeah, it was, it was pretty fun. I was playing. They had Borderlands Three just playing. You just play it. Probably the demo, but. <laughs> I was Did you play the demo, by the way? Yeah. Well, how was it? It was good. It was Borderlands. They were like a long. Is it any different, or is there any like big differences you would say from the second game, or faster paced? I'd say. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not good at reviews. Borderlands <laughs> Three. It's gonna be good. They say. 
I would say this was a good year. I it made me want to go back again for more. Like immediately, we were only there for two days. Uh, this is my twelfth time being, however, so the fact that I still want to go back again, it's pretty. You know, it's, that's a pretty good standing thing. Admittedly, the whole security system that they had to set up that did not impede <laughs> as much as I thought it would. It, and more than it did last year. I don't know. Well, they didn't have metal detectors last no, year. No, I know that. But. And considering what they were doing, it wasn't that big of an impediment. And can, and since there was a shooting while we were there in Texas again, the fact that there was very little difference, if at at all, I found the next day, I was happy with that too. I understand why they're doing it. I know people were pissed about it, but they had to do it to cover their own ass. Yeah, I'm not like super hardcore into get there first thing in the morning so i can't really relate to the yeah, people that was who were pissed off because i didn't really care but uh. yeah and i found that i i had a very little issue getting in i would come in about like 10 20 every yeah, time yeah we and came in around 11 or noon the after parties were great at the queue highly recommend it was a lot of fun uh, so went... it was a club full of nerds so everyone was friendly to each other well, that's and nice. having a Great fucking time. <laughs> I'll have to find these next year. I want to go into some of them, but my friends, my group, doesn't want to sit in the lines for a while. because your friends are stupid and lame. I feel I have patience. I'm kidding. <laughs> Half my friends didn't go either as me, two other guys. Oh, uh, see, that's and why we I'm met with some other people we knew. Had a blast. Well, anyways, that's our little dis there, our little uh, surprise video about uh, PAX. It was a fun time. Uh, looking forward so to next much year. Fun. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I guess uh, if you guys are uh, interested in the video, if you liked it, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, we're going to be doing a podcast or podcast or shows called The Roommates Club. We got Hopefully, it. without these masks on. Yeah, well, I don't know. I, I don't know if we can do a challenge to see how long we could wear this thing. Okay, we're well, going to do it with the masks on. Oh, yeah. Masks do it on. with the mask on. Well, stay tuned for that because if not, I don't care. I'm not going to see you. Maybe I will. Come on over. <laughs> All right. See you guys later. Uh, I'll probably just yo-yo a little more. Oh, fuck. I can't see it. Give me a <laughs>